pay, you wouldn't find a more patient man as a coach and a person than Coach Crum. I mean, he was all that. Denny Crum is remembered by former players, coaches, and the community as one of a kind. Coach Crum made history at Louisville, bringing U of L basketball and the city of Louisville their first NCAA championship in 1980. The first title came nine years after Crum took over the job. They knew that we were capable, and uh, when when it finally when it came together and it worked, uh, I think they could see more success down the road. And the program had more success because of Denny Crum, including a second national title in 1986. In total, over his time leading the cards, Coach Crum won two national championships, six Final Fours, and 675 wins in a 30-year run. And all his success put him in the Sports Hall of Fame. But for former players, Coach Crum meant even more off the court. Do you learn so much from someone like a Coach Crum? The X's and O's, absolutely but the, the life lessons, right? So important, okay? Just so important. It, it, he taught me um, how to give back. Coach Crum actually saved my, uh, he, he actually um, gave, me what I, gave me an opportunity to be who I am today, so I could not be here without him, and uh, he's largely responsible for what I've, what I've become. Coach Crum was known as an incredibly competitive man, and he always pushed his players to be better. But it was how he got everyone to work together and win together. Players say they remember the most. I know one of the first things that I really witnessed was the fact that he never yelled. Uh, and the whole time I was on the basketball team, I never heard him say a curse word. Uh, it was just his demeanor. And while Coach Crum was a Hall of Famer, analyst Bob Valvano described him as an even better teacher, and not just about the game, but about the life lessons that come from it. He, he just, he rose above it all. It was like, uh, you know, I, again, I am who I am, and I'm not going to be taken away from that just because there's some people that are, for whatever reason, have their own motives to try and denigrate me or something. He was just, you know, he was Denny Crum, and, and, and I loved him. Man. Denny Crum loved Louisville, and the city loved him right back. And I hope they remember that I really cared about Louisville. I loved Louisville. I loved the people here.